Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go clear out the rock club up here. Let's go over to Gene first. I'm Gene, the master of the rock club. Rock is good. Isn't rock good, Mark? Rock is hard and strong. Doesn't crumble under pressure. After you duel me, you'll know I'm right. Come, show me what you're made of. Nah, I've actually got two of your flunkies to duel first. <laughs> I want to show all the people. I am not. Well, come on now. <laughs> I will be back for you, I assure you. I'll be back. I'm going to go for this guy first, I guess. I've always wanted to be a hard rocker. Rock Pokemon. Doesn't the name rock? Won't you duel against my rock Pokemon deck? Sure, let's do it. Four prizes. He's got the blistering Pokemon deck. I, I think what he means by blistering is it's rock and fire type. And that's also, then again, I think he's also got some psychic Pokemon as well. So I have no idea where the name of this deck comes from. See, yeah, you see, he's got psychic energy in there. So I don't. I, I really don't know where the name of this deck comes from, but it's a deck and you gotta play against it. <laughs> But uh, you can see his card is off to the side there, you can kind of see that he's got, I don't know, I guess some sort of strategy going, I'm not really sure in all honesty. <laughs> you know, and I start with Machop, Plop Charmander, and a Growlithe, and call it a setup. Alright, I got first. Energy removal, fighting energy. Well, I'm not going to you know, use energy removal, obviously, but I mean energy removal for the future, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay. Next turn. I'm gonna burn. Well, not really. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I can't attack. That's too bad. But I will be able to energy removal, so that's good. Ooh, Arcanine. You know I'm gonna go for that bad boy, so I might as well set that up right away. Uh, might as well stall him out. I. I guess I could plop this on the bench, in case I get another Arcane Eye, because I have two copies of that in here now. Yeah, I guess I will. I'm not gonna force him to switch anything with uh, Gust of Wind. Well, hold on. Uh, well, it says attack Rhyhorn. Hmm. That might mean I could attack something else, let's say Cubone. So, let's do Professor Oak now. Yeah, I know I'm doing all these rule loopholes here, we're gonna see if it works out. Uh, oh, only one fire energy in the whole Professor Oak? It's a little scary, but I do have another Professor Oak to go here, so we'll see how that goes. Will this do damage, though? Yes, it will! My loophole worked! <laughs> uh, double colorless, ooh. That's gonna be a spicy meatball. <laughs> ooh, I got a double colorless on my own. Um, energy removal, of course. And, 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 this is going to Arcanine for the takedown a little bit later. And let's just attack with Low Kick. Get ourselves a prize card. Woo! Energy removal, wow! My deck, most certainly, is faring a lot better than it has before. Now that I got all these Searcher cards and uh, all these Power cards. That's the idea of building a deck. You want all your draws to be good if you can help it. Granted, you need energy cards, and you won't always want to draw an energy card, but I mean the other cards that, you, that you'll that you draw. You want to have some good stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm going to use the plus power on the next turn to uh, hopefully wipe out Rhyhorn. Hopefully. <laughs> as long as Leer doesn't work. Oh, it works! <laughs> oh. 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 Does it say defending Pokémon? Okay, so I could switch over to Arcanine and just wipe it out with Flamethrower, I suppose. Eh. Or I could just wait it out and not waste the energy card for a switch. Let's see how things go, shall we? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> well, at least he didn't put another energy card on Rhyhorn, because it takes three energy cards for it to use its horn attack. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal as long as I don't see two energy cards on him. So I'm not too worried about that. Get a Magmar on the bench. Um, should I computer search for another Arcanine? I'm very tempted to do that. 
Uh, I'll do that next turn. <laughs> but for now, I can't attack, as you've seen there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Your luck has run out, Andrew. Your luck has run out. So I'm gonna attach this to Growlithe for the future, I guess. Plus power. Attack with low kick. Bye bye, Rhyhorn! And computer search. Awesome, tastic. And let's see what we got here. Bill! Good buddy, Bill! Oh, <laughs> I don't even have to use computer search! Wow! Now I have all sorts of stuff I can choose from with computer search if I'd like to. Um, how about I do a computer search for... Discard that, discard that. I'm not going to need another uh, Magmar this part. I just want to get a bunch of fire energy cards here to be super cheapo effecto here. Because watch this, watch this. I'm going to be able to use Flamethrower two turns in a row because of grabbing that fire energy card. And I grabbed it guaranteed with Computer Search. Professor Oak, while gives you a good chance of getting a Fire Energy card, does not guarantee you a Fire Energy. So, yeah, that's why I decided to use it on a Fire Energy card at this moment in time. Bill, what you got? <laughs> got to see it. I didn't get a Fire Energy card there. Um, uh, but I could use compu Computer Search to discard that and that for a plus power. You see where this is going, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I win! <laughs> 90 damage because of the plus power, which is exactly what I need to win the game. Woo! Yeah, I think I got a pretty solid deck going here now. The Justin is very pleased. Woo! Coliseum Booster Pack! Snorlax! Snorlax! My favorite Pokémon in the world! <laughs> It's not really the best of cards, though. <laughs> I mean, it sorta is. It's got 90 HP, so it's a decent staller, um, and it also prevents status effects. But the decent staller thing comes in the form of Body Slam here. Put a couple double colorless energies to it, and you might have uh, quite the wall here. Uh, I got another Magma. We're getting a lot of duplicates now, because we've been collecting a lot of cards. Uh, so probably the only new ones are going to be seeing here, for the most part, are going to be the rare cards, like, uh, uh, you know, the star cards and whatnot, from here on out. I mean, I think there are a couple commons... Ooh, another bill. There are a couple commons to, uh, uh, flop out of the packs, I guess you could say. But, uh, oops, no, 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 no. I want to go to my deck and, I guess, put in the other bill and take out... Um, 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 you know what? Maybe I don't need that many bills. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep the deck the exact same. Okay, this guy. I'm carving a statue of a Pokemon on this rock. What? You want a duel? All right, you want a duel now? Sure, I would. He's got the excavation deck, which is a fossil-based deck. Remember, I was talking about the mysterious fossil cards. Yeah, he's got them, and he's got all the evolutions for them. Aerodactyl, Omanyte, Omnistar, Kabuto, and Kabutops. Uh, unfortunately, he's not very good at getting them out, so... What, I, what I'm gonna be doing here is... Gonna be trying to put the pressure on him before he can get them out. And only three prize cards? Really? This is gonna go down in a flash. Either for me or for you. It could very well be for me, who knows. But nah, actually, I think it's gonna be for him, because I... I already have a de decent start going on here. So, because I got Fire Energy card right here, I've got Energy Removal right here, and uh, Double Colorless, of course, here. But for now, I'm just going to use uh, Smoke Screen here, and hope that it works, and he won't be able to use Snivel. And even if he can't, uh, even if he is able to use Snivel, I hope he gets Tails on that as well. So he's only got 25% chan chance of using Snivel, and it was unsuccessful. Very nice. Uh, I could computer search for Professor Oak, which I just might do. Because uh, I don't think I'm really going to need Arcanine this one. In all honesty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to drop Arcanine in a double colorless for Professor Oak. 
and I'm going to plus power right away. Professor Oak! <laughs> and... Sierra 7 cards. Yeah, I got a little energy here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, mucus. Ooh, that was that sounded nasty. Energy removal. Fire energy card. Got plus power plus smog. Poison. Yes! Knock out of Cubone! I finally got poison on Cubone when I wanted it! <laughs> Bingo! Okay, shoulders up. And oh no. He's only got 30 HP. That means I could win this turn. Well, I mean, he's got Mysterious Fossil now, at least I thought. But uh, this, this, doesn't, this doesn't count as a prize card. It's a really weird card. I mean, if I were to knock it out. But the thing is, is that he could bring out other Pokemon with his Mysterious Fossils, and they could be of any kind of those fossil Pokemon I mentioned. You know, Ammonite, Kaburo, or Aerodactyl. So, uh, oh yeah, no energy cards, that's right. Wow, he's he's in a pickle, isn't he? <laughs> so, should I just go for a plus power and, uh, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do here. Is go for a plus power and, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna discard, say, Gust of Wind and... Machop? I don't need another Machop, I think. Uh, wait, did I pass a Gust of Wind up there? I think I might have. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whatever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Why did I? I said I wanted to get a plus power and I grabbed the gust of wind. Ah, oh, freaking. <laughs> I had gust of wind in my mind and I grabbed gust of wind because I was thinking at it. Oh, man. I'm so stupid. Well, I'm going to have to open the poison. Ah, I got the poison. <laughs> Thank you, game for being a little forgiving for my stupidity. <laughs> Alright, so if I knock out his mysterious fossil, I win the game, even though it won't give me a prize card. Oh, no! <laughs> so now no one can play any more evolution cards. Yeah, that's the power of Aerodactyl. It locks stuff down. But hopefully I'll be able to knock it out before it's able to use its wing attack. Uh... Energy removal will help me with that, because I'll be able to, in, to knock it out in three turns. Let's get a Magmar set up here. There we go. Smog. Maybe even less turns if I get Poison going. Yeah! Sweetness! <laughs> Alright. By the way, the Rock Club is probably one of the easiest clubs, actually, come to think of it. It only seems like that there's a lot of stalling tact tactics without very much oomph in terms of power and stuff like that in their decks and whatnot. So yeah. Anyway, I win! I win! I win! Not only doesn't he have, any ha have no bench Pokémon, but... I took my last prize card! How do you like those apples, huh? 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 And I wonder why this duel has uh, only three prize cards. It's kind of weird. Evolution Pack! Machamp! Ooh! I could... I might have potential for my deck. Strikes back here. Um, it, it does damage to opposing Pokemon that do, does damage to Machamp. Pretty interesting, and uh, Seismic Toss might be a little too fighting energy heavy for my deck though, because I don't really have all that many fighting energy cards. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Energy Retrieval, this might be great for my deck. Uh, you discard one card in your hand, you get two basic energy cards. This is fantastic for those fire Pokemon that discard cards, and there's also a card called Super Energy Retrieval, which I'll be able to get uh, relatively soon as well, but that's a promotional card that's very rare, so it's not not a card that's easy to come by. Uh, you seen that, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I got Fighting Energy there. Maybe I should rebalance my energy cards a little to uh, make sure I got enough for my uh, Machop and uh, Hitmonchan. Another Machamp? What what else with me getting duplicate rare cards and two the same packs in a row. Like, what the heck? Oh, duplicate energy retrievals! Holy cow! <laughs> Alright, let's get modifying our deck here. I'm going to... drop one of those and put one of them in there. I don't really think I need more than seven fight fighting energy cards, in all honesty. And I'm actually thinking about dropping one of those, because I don't think I'm gonna get that much use out of the double colorless energy most of the time, because most of my Pokémon um, use elemental cards. Like you see, Machop's got the low kick, which uses one fighting. Uh, Hitmonchan's could use double colorless, but double colorless would be better off on some other Pokemon. 
uh, Charmander, not really, it's, it's the same situation as hit, um, Machop, but Charmeleon could use it. Uh, the other one that could use it is Arcanine, but that's really about it, because then you got, uh, wait, 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 hold on, actually, I forgot about the Rattata Eradicate line. Oh, and I got another one of them to balance out the, the line, too, so actually, maybe I should, um, uh, oops, uh, do that, and, yeah, maybe I, yeah, maybe I am okay with six, I always seem to have a fighting energy on hand. So maybe I'm good in that regard. I don't I don't really typically like to go under 22 energy cards in a fire deck because of their whole discarding thing. So yeah. And I guess I'll drop a computer search finally. Because I've got so many draw cards now that it's kinda kinda getting to be overkill. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. And end off the part here! <laughs> I hope you enjoy! And I'll see you in the next part, when I battle Gene the Rock Club Master, in this very calming Zen Garden of Happiness.